Welcome back to The Watch. And Nathan, Angry Joe has attacked us. We're under attack? We're under attack. Our channel is under attack. We, or so when we say we, I reviewed the Barbie movie recently with my wife, the lady. And uh, I think the review is actually really good. Uh, we had a lot of important, nuanced things to say. But if you're familiar with our content, there is a part where we like to ham it up a little bit in terms mm. of uh, our displeasure with certain things. Uh, by the way, though, the other part to that is that sometimes I do go on full on rants and you can say my voice raises just a little bit. Uh, would you say that's accurate, Nathan? Yeah, it's accurate. And even I've had my fair share of one time that happening because yeah. it was just too much bottled up inside. You've got to let it out sometimes. Yeah, it's cathartic to yeah. let it out. And it's fun to do so. And viewers enjoy it too because they mm. feel the same thing as well and, and there's something they can actually relate to. That's one of the big takeaways that a lot of our viewers like is that it's, it, they say we're kind of voicing their views that they weren't able to put in words, mm. but hearing someone articulate what they disliked about it, they really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Because there is so much just dog crap in uh, so much movies and TV shows. Not to say we hate everything, there's things that we really, really like. Uh, I think of Top Gun Maverick, absolutely brilliant. You guys, you watched uh, John Wick we, recently. That was good. That was a good really, time. Really, really good. Um, Dungeons and Dragons, I really, really enjoyed. That was a welcome surprise. I Wasn't that a welcome us. surprise? Yeah. House of the Dragon. Amazing, right? Unfortunately, these are more the exceptions than the norm. Mm. A lot of media is just complete dog crap. And that's what we do here. We stay on watch to call out, to let you guys know what's good and what's bad. And we are not afraid to call out not only bad movies, but movies that are specifically made to push an agenda, mm. that they're, they're propaganda, kind of like the Barbie movie. And so we also ham it up in the thumbnails, both for the positive and the negative. When I'm really positive about something, have a look at the thumbnails. I'm there going, yes, that's freaking amazing. And when I really dislike something, to get to pass on the tone, yeah, yeah, you see me angry face in uh, um, the thumbnails, but easily for the m most of those reviews, I'm talking like 99%, you're actually going to hear a reasoned, nuanced, level-headed kind of breakdown of this media with speckled, you know, um, uh, highlights of me getting more animated when something is so ridiculous, I just like, are you freaking getting me? <laughs> like, going off. So, uh, with the Barbie movie, it was so bad, like, complete propaganda trash. And if you want to know why, you can check out the review. And uh, I have my wife there, and she has a very level-headed feminine perspective on the matter. And the thumbnail, like, I'm hamming it up on purpose, okay? Thumbnails, like, I think you'd have to be a bit naive to think that these aren't hyperbolic, you know, exaggerations for the fun of it. Yeah. Okay, but, but people have thought, oh, it's so embarrassing that people are getting so angry about the Barbie movie. And I'm like, a couple of things. One, you people get angry about stuff all the time that I think I wouldn't get angry on, yeah. right? So it's damn hypocritical. And the other is that sometimes you probably should get angry about a couple of things, I think, you know, like uh, trying to push really divisive propaganda to children. It might be worth, uh, something worth getting angry about. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's been the response, and I've just kind of find it, found it funny because you can see people's partisanship um, blatantly when it's ty this type of stuff. And surprisingly, Angry Joe is one of these people who actually, well, he takes a pot shot of me and he highlights my first tweet review and some of our thumbnails specifically. Mm. Angry Joe. What is your impression when you hear that name, Nathan? I think of someone who'd be ranting. Yeah, who would yelling, get, kind of screaming, get angry. Angry, you know, yeah. aggressive even. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's a, a good number of examples of Angry Joe getting angry. Um, and I'm going to share an interesting point of uh, comparison. And so the sheer hypocrisy for him to try and call out us on getting angry at the Barbie is just blatant hypocrisy. It's like, come on, man. And so that is alone. But let's show you specifics, specifically what he said. And then let's see how justified he is in it. And I think... This is uh, the, well, he's asked for it, basically. He's asked to, uh, okay, you really want to look at how other people review stuff. Let's look at how you review some stuff, 
angry, Joe, because you're bad at it, and we'll show the reasons why. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna yeah, there's happen. certain people that are gonna go fucking crazy, and don't, don't be those people. I mean, I can see, uh, you know, you're not agreeing with the message, yeah. but it just makes you look embarrassing. It just makes you look embarrassing going, effing crazy. It is like, Joe, come on. What are you talking about? Like, he gets really out of it. But the thing is, this is him being such a, a hypocrite and elitist. I, it's okay with, at the things I get angry at because that's justified. It's justified mm. when I get angry at things. But when you get angry at something like th something that I support, like Barbie, it's embarrassing. Also, it's funny. It says, you know, it's embarrassing if it's not the norm to do that. <laughs> so, you know, if... If you're not part of the trend, if you're not being happy, then you mm. should just come along with us. Yeah. Think one-minded. And this is so much the... Um, uh, there is a narrative that uh, people who push propaganda try out, uh, and it's funny that he is naturally falling into. It's like, why are you getting upset? I, it's the thing, like, this isn't serious. It's a Barbie movie. Uh, like, when, when the Barbie movie is insanely political. Mm. Right? Like, and he's, they say it multiple times, how heavy-handed the uh, feminist message is in this, to a really, he like, massive extent, right? And then they're going to try and say, but it's harmless. Just ignore it. Like, why are you getting bothered? And this is what they want to do, because they know that this type of stuff is sheer propaganda, and it's a Barbie property. You think this isn't targeted towards children? Mm. And so they want people to be complacent, to just, okay, yeah, it's nothing, I'll let my kids and whatever watch it, to then get indoctrinated by this crap, okay? Because if you pick up some of the actual messaging behind Barbie... Oh my goodness, that's not good. Like, like Barbie is so misandrist. Like, they they hate men in that film, and the takeaway is that men deserve to be oppressed mm. in the way that they perceive themselves having been oppressed. That's disgusting. That's not equality. I thought feminism was about equality, Nathan. It's not. It's about power and oppression and revenge. Okay, that's the takeaway. And if people actually take on board that message, it's going to make women hate men. That's disgusting. But they want people to be complacent and they want to shame people like us who was calling it out trying to say you are just unhinged you know you're idiots. overreacting <laughs> people it's are... just a movie so funny the amount of people have tried to call me incels where in the review my wife is reviewing it with me <laughs> they're trying to say look at this incel idiot it's like hilarious and it also shows how much of a surface level person he is like this is angry joe taking only my tweet and the thumbnail to try and get the full uh, like view of my views. Like mm. to, he, he doesn't know what I actually think about. He hasn't watched the review yet. And, and by the way, I understand a lot of people do this, but Joe, you're a reviewer and you do have a big platform, which gives you a certain level of responsibility to represent things accurately. And he has the gall to put us, me on blast without knowing it at all, not watching the review. Like, dude, you, that's pathetic, man. And, but it goes hand in hand because he's actually bad at his job as a reviewer. He mm. doesn't understand things all continuously. And he has gone off half cocked, attacking people for their political opinions and stuff without knowing the actual context behind things. It's par for the course for him. And it just goes to show you that, like his level of critical thinking, really. And it's not that deep, unfortunately. And so, again, don't let people like Joe do this to you where they try and put, like, shame you, okay? for calling out bullcrap when it's there, blatant propaganda, and to try and push you into a level of complacency where we just let this propaganda slide by to indoctrinate children and stuff. That's why the left is doing it. Mm. They're specifically trying to put this stuff in media to indoctrinate people. They say it blatantly. Why do they think they need all this representation stuff in media and stuff? Because they know what we consume in terms of our entertainment is basically a forerunner for the norms of society. They want society to adopt these things mm. and they purposely do that because they know it gets passed on. So when people say it's harmless, it's just no, bull crap. Don't let them try and gas you like, uh, gaslight you like that, okay? And so there's that. And then there's a, um, uh, well, actually, let's see this in a, kind of a comparison. Like this is a bit, bit of a pot calling kettle black thing. Let's watch something. This was shared on Twitter by a no-name tweeter, Beep Boop. Credit to you, mate. There's certain people that are gonna go fucking crazy, and don't, don't be those people. I mean, I can see, you know, you're not agreeing with the message, yeah. but it just makes you look embarrassing. What? Are you, are you out of your mind? 
I've been waiting seven years in order to be able to re-engage. Going crazy. This is like, according to your standard, Joe, it's a bit embarrassing. When, by the way, I'm like, no, get passionate about stuff that you like. And mm -hmm. if it's got legitimate dog rap in, push back. Show them that you are passionate about this. And yes, get angry, okay? And so it goes on, like, he, like this is just one of his rants, right? They're dead and all the new characters that, you, that I like in this game are dead and gone and broken. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty. That was a... When I think Angry Joe, that's what I think of. Someone with a red face screaming. Yeah, but you know what's sad? He's not, he's, he's, he is rarely like that, mm. really. Like his whole brand is built on giving a voice to uh, the people who are dissatisfied with media, yet he softballs nearly all his reviews. He likes She-Hulk episode one, one of the most blatant dog crap shows. If you want to look at recent media and po pinpoint one of the shows that you do not need to be a genius to identify as being sheer unadulterated dog crap it's she-hulk episode one okay and he's a reviewer and he liked it I was like mate and not only that he softballs oh um heaps of stuff I like rings of power he softball rings of power and that was such astounding dog crap as well right how can you softball that that was like hot out the gate from the first trailer everyone's like mm -hmm. Do you know why a boat floats in a rock sinks? <laughs> like, oh, bullshit. Like, the dialogue. And then you have just the astounding, horrible plot. And, ah, oh, so much of Rings of Power was awful. Yeah. Genuinely bad, right? And it doesn't take a genius to be able to figure that no. out. But it's clearly beyond Joe, right? Um, and what's shocking, right? This time in media, where so much of it is just so bad, right? This should be the golden era of his channel. Angry Joe, you have such ample opportunity to get angry and give a voice to the disaffected, disillusioned people, dissatisfied viewers yep. for all this crap, and you are softballing it all. And it goes to show that he's not good at his job. And, like... I'll talk a bit, bit about, I want to talk about why, why perhaps he is softballing a bit, and it'll be speculation, but I have my suspicions. But uh, final thing, because there's, now we, I want to show you the specific part where he has the gall to call me out specifically. Okay. Right now there's a hundred YouTube videos being uploaded. I'll just, I'll pick on the one guy that has the, you know, he does swords and stuff. He's <laughs> nice. So this was my uh, first tweet when I came back from, uh, you know, Barbie thing. And uh, <clears throat> I think it's actually a well-worded piece of, uh, you know, dialogue. This uh, this was, I'll read it out. Warning, the Barbie movie is one of the most blatant man-hating, activism-charged, deranged, subversive, intersectional pieces of insane, hyper-indulgent, third-wave feminist propaganda I have ever seen. Review will be out soon. <laughs> like, that's actually a very succinct, accurate summary of the film. Many people have agreed with me, by the way. <laughs> I just also love how they always say, oh, you're getting mad over, like, a children, or, uh, a show for little girls. But it's not for little girls. It's for adults. Mm -hmm. And the messaging in it is not for, like, kids. Yeah. And so they love to change the goalposts of, like, oh, it's for kids. But also this message that we enjoy, the reason why we like it. Why are you liking kids moving then? Huh? Why are you so passionate about protecting this mm. kid's TV show? Yeah. Or movie? It's a little suspect. My oh, man. <laughs> To Sorry. actually go to this film and get that upset over it. Uh, it's, uh, it's... To actually go to that film and get this upset about it. Coming from Angry Joe. <laughs> and then he shows... So here's an example of our very top uh, like top tier thumbnails in terms of the clickbait game. By the way, it's actually not clickbait in terms of... There, there are different types. Uh, Veritasium has a great video on the nature of thumbnails at mm. the moment. Uh, where most common understanding of clickbait is is thumbnails that lie, okay? That are just trying to draw people in with really insincere kind of things that are not really in the film. Where he, there's another, I forget what he calls it, like um, uh, real bait or something like that, where you're showing the context of what's actually in in the videos, mm. in the reviews. And this is exactly what, like, when I'm not lying. when um, And so we are very earnest about making thumbnails that it does address something in the review, mm. okay? But then we are happy to ham it up a bit, yeah. all right? Um, to get the message across. Why, why do you reckon we ham it up a bit, Nathan? Uh, well, 
Why do I think or why do we? Both. Too... <laughs> we do it because if we don't do it, no one clicks on it. It's effective! Simple enough. We... Shock horror! We... There was a time where we were like, okay, we're getting a bit too ahead of ourselves with all these. Let's try and do some good reviews. There's nice reviews. We did one about um, Robin Hood. Robin Hood? We did some other ones like Elvis and stuff. Very bare bones review of like, here's the review of the movie. Here mm-hmm. are the people. No one cared. And by the way, we're happy to do those still. Like, yeah. I, I like reviewing classic old meters. And yeah, like Robin Hood is like Prince of Thieves. I love that film. Mm. So many films I love, and we're happy to do that. Uh, people are less interested in that. Yeah. Interesting. Even if it's, mm. g- like, with thumbnails, people want to feel something or get a reaction mm-hmm. of some sort. That's yes. why you hand them up. Yes. And especially for this channel where we are calling things out, well, it makes sense to be... They don't seem to have an issue with us doing it in the other extreme. Mm. Like, look at my House of the Dragons thumbnails. Look at my thumbnail for Top Gun Maverick, where I'm like, this is amazing, and stuff like that. There's even one of me just going, wow, I like loving it, right? We do it on both ends. Yeah. Okay. When it's good, we get excited for it. Yeah, yeah. And so this really has the, I guess, the smell of people just getting upset that I we are disliking calling out movies they like, but also messages that they are on board with. That's that's the real thing, because if we had this type of thumbnail with something they agreed with, they're perfectly on board with it. No one complains. Funny that, isn't it? You know? How about you apply your standards evenly? And it's also interesting, this is from a, like some Twitter thing saying fandom menace posting the L's online. We've never associated ourselves with fandom menace. We're just calling out, review, or we're reviewing media, honestly. That's it, okay? Now, I do identify as part of the fellowship, which is, you know, Great reviewers, great people like Nerd Roddick and Geeks and Gamers and As Hills Oh, the great guys. Watch us on Friday Night Tides because we talk about this stuff as well. Um, and so there, there is a, we kind of, they just call us the, people say it's the fellowship, right? Uh, but Fairness Pencil was way before even me. Um, and uh, like I said, I'm not interested in necessarily uh, identifying with groups. I'm interested in being honest mm. in my reviews because I disagree with the guys on FNT all the time. Like, like, look at our reviews of Avatar Way of Water. Mm. Like, uh, like, we had a p- pretty different, you know, like uh, takes of that film and we're discussing it. Like, this is not an echo chamber by any means. No. We often have disagreements. Like, I uh, have certain views on Spider-Man Far From Home, which was very oppo- opposite to what, say, Mauler and the EFAP guys had. Mm. And we discussed it, okay? And shock horror, you can get along with people you disagree with. That's beyond most people on, online at the moment. On the internet, yeah. yeah. On the internet. So now it comes to the question, why is Angry Joe so bad at his job as a reviewer of film and TV specifically? I think he's done decent work in video games. Mm-hmm. I think he is able to be a bit more objective. But the, honestly, though, it seems like he is more interested in following the popular opinion than being honest about something. Um, uh, and we really saw this with uh, She-Hulk, where he... He liked it because it's bad as a job, and his audience roasted him for it, mm. calling him a sellout and everything like that. And I think rightly so, because you'd have to be particularly oblivious to not see the flaws in She Hulk episode one. Like, honestly, wow. Right? And, uh, it, like, it was only the, the massive backlash that he got where he change his views. I don't think he, like, like if there was no backlash like that, he would have loved everything. Like, I think a lot of his view, because towards the end of She-Hulk, he started to be more negative. Mm. And I feel that's purely pandering to his audience to try and give them what they wanted to hear, not being honest. And I don't think he's a very honest reviewer as a result of stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. I just wonder whether or not he even had an opinion of She-Hulk. He just was making assumptions of what people might like or not like and was confused. Because... I think he's a normie consumer where he is actually not critical thinking and you just give him like flashy CG bullcrap and he'll enjoy it. That's mm. how much of a surface level watcher he is, right. which makes him really bad at his job as a reviewer. Because I think he was being honest when he said he liked it, which is probably one of the worst indictments of him as a reviewer you could give almost. I think it, like it, that is being honest. But then he changed his opinions because of the backlash. Mm. Okay, that's the dishonest part. Where if there was no backlash, I think he would have been positive throughout the whole thing. Right. All right. Um, because the other side to this, I think he also softballs things when it has certain messages that he is more on board with agreeing. And they're very clear about they agree with the message in Barbie. Mm. Like, there's a line where, um, uh, uh, is his name Alex or someone? 
Um, he says, I agree with the message, everything. And Angry Joe is there just like, I think he's just nodding. He doesn't say, no, I disagree, Harry. And they are saying that it's ham fisted, but they say they agree with it. You know what the message of Barbie is? To oppress men and make them second class citizens. All right, that's the message of Barbie to get revenge. And uh, it's horrifying. It's terrible, but that's what they're on board with. Mm. And so I think when it has stuff that's towing their, you know, their line and stuff, they softball it. All right. And so there is a very valid criticism against Joe for being a bit of a sellout. But even if not sellout, he, I, I completely agree, he's bad at his job like, as a reviewer because there is just blatantly bad media that is like, <laughs> really, mate? And then now he's also a blatant flat hypocrite for trying to, having the gall to try, like, you're getting upset at stuff when his brand is it built around that getting angry yeah dude change your name you don't deserve it anymore you don't have it anymore angry joe Pfft. it's more like sellout joe right because honestly really really sad and by the way i really had no personal issue with him i just thought he was bad at reviewing right then he try he has the gall to take pot shots right and attack other people like us it's like Dude, really? All right? Because I can get along with people I disagree with. I can get along with people who think they're bad at their job of bad reviews. Like, go, like She-Hulk. There's more power to you, right? But it's objective dog crap. And we can still get along. That's no problem. But he's the type, like, he's the type of one, clearly, that wants to make a personal issue out of it. Tack mm -hmm. people on a personal level. Like, people like me, embarrassing. It's like, all right, you're starting this then, mate. If you want to start it, fine. There is a lot of stuff that can be said about you then, and hence we're making this video. Don't throw stones from glass houses, you hypocrite.